Okay, let's say you are a translator and you are using Wordfast Pro. Your client is an agency and they are using Trados Workbench, the old Trados. Yes, there are a lot of agencies that are still using the old Trados. Well, in such a scenario, it is quite possible that your client, the agency, will request delivery of your translation in the so-called unclean Word document format, sometimes also called Trados bilingual format. And the reason why they want your translation in that format is that it will make it possible for them to update their TM in an easy way. Unfortunately, until now, Wordfast Pro was not able to produce documents in that format. And you had to use rather complicated workarounds in order to meet your client's requirements. The good news is that the latest version of Wordfast Pro 3.2 is now able to save TXML files as Trados bilingual documents. And in this video, I will show you how to do it. So here we have a document that we translated from English into French in Wordfast Pro. And this is the latest version of Wordfast Pro as per January 2013. It's 3.2. Uh, this is currently a beta version, but it should be released uh, rather soon. So with this new version of Wordfast Pro, what we can do is select File, Save As, and in the Save As type drop-down menu, we now have uh, three new options. The first one is uh, Trados Bilingual with Placeholders. The second one is uh, Trados Bilingual without Placeholders. And the third one is uh, Trados Bilingual tag content as placeholder. Well, maybe it sounds a little bit complicated, so I will show you what each of these uh, files look like when you save them. So let's start with the first one, Trados Bilingual with placeholders. Well, the Word document that you obtain, uh, it has at the beginning some information added by Wordfast. You don't really need it for your client who is using uh, Trados, so you can delete that. If we go further down, we can see the actual translation. And uh, as you can see here, we have uh, these blue tags that correspond to the tags we had in Wordfast Pro. So here we have in segment 3 and segment 6, we have this uh, UT1, which is a tag of uh, Wordfast Pro. And in the Word document, they appear uh, in blue here. The second format Trados Bilingual without placeholder looks like this, so it's almost the same, except that we don't have these uh, blue things here, so they have been uh, removed by Wordfast. And uh, this is, in fact, in my opinion, the best format that you can use if your client uh, is using Trados and uh, requested uh, documents in the unclean format, because they will obtain very clean segments to be added to their TM. Let's have a look at the third format. So it looks like this. So instead of the simple blue tags, we have uh, very long tags with a lot of uh, information. And frankly, this will be totally useless for your client. It will just add garbage to their TMs that probably already has a lot of it. So it's really best uh, to use uh, the second format, uh, uh, Trados Bilingual, without placeholders. And now let's have a look at what will happen on your client side. So they have uh, Trados uh, Workbench here, and uh, we have uh, an empty TM, English French, and I can check it's empty here in properties. And uh, translation units, I can see there are zero units. So what your client would typically do, they would go to Tools and Clean Up here under Add. They would add the document that they received from you. So we saw that the best one will be the one without placeholders, open. And now they would select uh, Update TM and Clean Up. That's it. And now we can see that nine segments were cleaned and updated to the TM. And we can check that uh, they did go there using the concordance feature. So if I search for Services, I will get uh, many segments 
And as you can see, they are really clean. They have no extra tags or other garbage. So it's the perfect way to update uh, a TM in Trados. So there you have it. How to use the latest version of WordFast Pro 3.2 to produce Trados bilingual documents that can be used to update uh, Trados Workbench TM. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.